This video will demonstrate the new version of VoiceMeter and how to set it up for Google Voice. With the new version of VoiceMeter, it now has ASIO support, which allows us to use one set of his virtual audio cables called the Hi-Fi cables. In this instance, we're going to use the ASIO bridge. VoiceMeter's own ASIO driver is called the VoiceMeter Virtual ASIO, which we have set up here. Now the secret of this is we're going to send out all audio on input 3 here, virtual input. It's going to go out through the ASIO bridge to Hi-Fi cables. Now in your cards, so Windows Sounds cards, all you have to make sure is all the sample rates are the same. So there's a Hi-Fi cable, 48, all my system is at 48K 16-bit but it works at other sample rates just fine. And here we have the Hi-Fi cable, 48K. So make sure all those are set correctly, otherwise ASIO Bridge will not operate correctly. And so we have the Hi-Fi cable output for the recording and the Hi-Fi cable input for the playback. Now in the Google Voice settings for the chat, select for speakers and microphone hi-fi cable for both microphone and speakers and you'll be set. Now while you have to make one adjustment on this ASIO bridge so that the output of Google Voice does not go back into the input of Google Voice and we do this through the VB Audio ASIO bridge routing selection here. You have to left click these and take those to their dashes. So what will happen is on the Google Voice coming in to the voice meter it's going to come in on channels 3 and 4 which you see a little bit right here. I want to tap, I already have a selection so that's me tapping on my own phone here that I called. So I called my home phone and it's already set up and this is this is what I sound like on the Google Voice telephone. And we're back to my regular microphone. Anyway, because we're coming in on 3.4, it does not go back out on 1 and 2, which is a very nice feature. So that allows us to use the ASIO bridge itself and its hi-fi cables for the input and output of Google Voice. That's all you have to do. The second thing is on this 3 and 4 channel here, you left click or right click until it says 1 and 2 and that will get the second column where you see this rising right there and that will allow you to use this ASIO bridge. That opens up an input channel now and I have a second sound card, an ASIO sound card with a line input and we have this is if you want to send audio to your person you're talking to. You can hear it, they can hear it, but your voice will always be above the audio and their voice will always be above the audio if you set it correctly. So you want the outgoing audio about 10 dBs less than your voice. So look at these meters here and adjust accordingly. So let's listen to the... and I have it set up where I have mono. Since in Google Voice it's mono anyway, so I actually have two sets of audio coming in to this line input. From the left channel, I have music. On the right channel, I have talk radio. So we have NPR here. If you slide this over, we have music. And if you want desktop audio, and again, you have to control this volume so it's 10 dBs at least lower than your voice. Otherwise, you'll, you'll be competing they won't be able to hear you if you have any comments to make while the audio that you're playing is engaged. So here's a, a desktop media that will come out with the voice meters as the default sound card for the playback device. As we see it checked right there. That'll come out here. I can hear it and the, the caller can hear it. Internet access and disaster relief and yet my voice will be over it. It's been two years since so you have desktop audio, you have incoming audio, if you had a tape deck, CD player, turntable, if you wanted to share some audio with your caller, with your friend or family member. 
or perhaps this is for you know for some, a professional call you wanted to share an audio file in the first hardware I'm using a USB microphone highly recommend not using the default microphones and laptops very very noisy and very poor audio so I've invested in a USB microphone I'm using an Andrea USB dongle it's a rather it's an older model it's a few years older but it uh, seems to work okay you set the volume and I think I have mine at 60 so that your volume isn't too noisy so you don't get too much background here it is right here and I have it set at 60 too low there's not enough too high so there's a little bit of work to do but once you get these set perhaps you can write them down so you can remember them if if you lose your settings and that's pretty much how this is set up I've also used the second hardware output to go to VB virtual audio cable so that you can hear this audio on the recording or if you wanted to record it so I have the input is VB audio virtual cable the output is the voice meter so I can hear it so if you wanted to record your call you could do that too and the settings we have here are nominal I'm using 48k for everything so I have all Windows sample rate and all sound cards and virtual sound cards set to 48k and I'm using the 480 for the buffers and just using uh, the exclusive mode as no and engine mode as normal and that's pretty much it uh, having all this audio available and this voice meter virtual ASIO really helps to open up a little extra options when you're trying to uh, make a phone call on Google Voice. Thanks for watching.